It's some FUMO, well done team. Very impressed with all of you, of course, how you were able to identify that chap is Mfumo. He's now just crossed into Biffle's Hook, so the sighting is going to end shortly. Very, very well done, guys. I'm super impressed. You, are, you will blow my mind every single day. So thank you again for all of your help. I don't think we say thank you enough. Now, it seems as though Mfumo is, he's got his nose to the ground now, so he's obviously trying to pick up a scent of the females. I can go back for you a little bit more, Craig, if that will help. Just try and go back. Make sure there's no car behind me. We'll watch him as he starts to disappear. So it seems as though the Nkuhumas have actually done a sneaky and they've already crossed over. I think they must have left him former while he was sleeping. And they got up and quickly disappeared. Which wouldn't surprise me. I've seen lionesses do that quite a few different times. Oh, well, on a num number of different occasions, sorry. So I wonder if they didn't maybe urinate there. Remember, lions also have got scent glands in their feet. You go forward, you see if you can get a view here. Just roll down. So I think that's what he's looking for at the moment. But he's going straight towards Tamboti Dam. He'll probably have a drink there too. It's been a hot afternoon. He also did have a few sort of tastes of some wildebeest. I don't think he got particularly very much. He's just stopping now, doing another yawn. And off he goes. And what I'm hoping is crazy, I hope he goes onto the damn wall. Because then we'll be able to, of course, have a look at him. Now there are lots and lots of cars here. Not lots and lots, it's just three of us. But Aubrey and them are, <laughs> are able to go onto Biffle's Hook. I'm just trying to figure out which way he wants to go. So I can move out of his way so he can squeeze past me. Should be good here. I'm going to just booger from here. There he is. There we go, Craig. You might be able to get one last view of him. Thank you, Mfumo. He's just very quickly going straight across over the dam wall. Maybe he comes back this way. See how he's changing direction all of a sudden. So this is what we say about these animals, is that they never just walk in a straight line. Well, not very often they do. Something might draw their attention, completely change direction. However, I suspect he's going to go straight towards the dam now. <laughs> now, Steel Max, you're wondering if I feel lucky when I feel, find lions. I, you know what, I feel lucky when I see any cat. We didn't find him though. All the credit goes to Aubrey. We were just helping him in the area. And it seems as though he was checking the right spots. We weren't far off him. You know, the arrow mark babblers now also going crazy. I think he's just disappointed in himself that he's let the girls give him the slip. <laughs> because William, Aubrey's tracker, said that, no, he could see all the female tracks uh, crossing in the road in front of him. Now, wouldn't that be nice? Now, look back here, please. Not with the trees in front of your face and four more take two steps back, you silly cat. <laughs> ah, typical. Isn't that lovely? I don't think going back is actually going to help us at all because it doesn't move those trees out of his face. Now he's trying to listen, obviously trying to pick up on their scent is not working too well. So he's looking back the way he came going, oh, maybe they were still there. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I actually have watched in my career is watch the Southern Pride, which is down in the Southern Sands, escaping from the Charleston males. That was really funny. Literally those boys would go to sleep and they, they would get up and they would creep away as if their life depended on it. And then when the males would roar, and I tell the story often, they would keep quiet. And one day I watched them sort of double step over each other's tracks, back and forth, back and forth. And the girls just sidestepping the Charleston males. They were only just taking over the area, so they weren't so sure on them. But you can see him almost con confused this afternoon. He doesn't know where those girls have gone. He's coming back towards the cut line now. Let me go back for you, Kriegi. I think we might actually have to, let's turn around. I think that'll be the easiest bet. Thankfully, I'll be very hap happy if he comes back this side. Yes, good kitty. Come back to Juma. <laughs> He's so, this is my favorite, is watching male lions and they're so confused. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a good sleep. I don't think there are many animals out here like, 
that sleep like a male lion. You might even get him silhouetted, who knows? He's just about to cross in front of us again. Oh, look at that, backlit male lion. Gorgeous, Craigie. So beautiful. He's also, this is actually what I look like when I'm tracking. I must tell you, going, going forward, having a look at the tracks, then going back, doing a circle, bending down, right down, you know. He doesn't know what he's doing. So I think the lines have definitely crossed over, right. Back over this big hump we go, Craig. No, come, come on, Rusty. I also need to watch my tires because I drove over some sickle bush earlier. There he is. His eyes look so lovely and golden. That's one thing I never really noticed. Perhaps it's his eye color is changing as he's getting older, but they are starting to resemble Nsuku's eyes, the lovely golden color. I suppose he was, he's a young boy still. He's still got a bit of growing to do. Definitely looks like he needs a decent meal though. Now don't go into the drainage line, please. Ah, oh. Steel Max, thank you for all the questions today. Remember, if you would like to ask questions just as Steel Max is, you can hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now your question is, who is my favorite Birmingham boy? You say that yours is Mfumo. Well, there we go. So I hope your day has been made, Steel Max. Mine has to be Nana. Let's catch up to him because he's going straight towards a drainage line and I don't like the look of that drainage line because it is a wall of Tambuati trees. And they're impenetrable. You can't really get through them. Hop, skip and a jump over a few logs. No, don't go down there. It's going right back to where he started. This is where the lioness is crossed though. Oh, now I've just pulled my earpiece out. Right, that got hooked on a buffalo thorn. My earpiece cable did not stand a chance. Let's see, he's not even bothering about us at the moment. He really just wants to figure out where the lionesses have gone. And I think he's going to try and follow their sort of tracks and the exact route that, he, that they walked, because the w route that he walked obviously wasn't the same spot. Now he's completely lost them. I wonder, he might go back along. We'll follow him down this way then. And he's going down on the fire break, down into this little dip. It's just incredible how an entire pride alliance can just vanish, just like that. It always amazes me, although we see it with herds of elephants, of course, doing exactly the same thing, just vanishing before your eyes. Yeah, he's going back again. Oh, let's see, he's going over the burnt section. Now I can hopefully he's going to leave the black footprints on the ground like I've been telling you all about. I'll look, I just want to go up a bit further Craig. No. No, this is not a very nice turn is it? No. Okay, well, sorry Craig, we're going to have to watch him like this. I've got stuck in an awkward spot here. So he didn't leave any black footprints on the ground sadly. Maybe because it's just too sandy. They're walking right past the car. <laughs> Lorena, you say that he's such a beautiful boy and you reckon that he knows that he's beautiful too. I think all male lions feel like that. They always walk with a fair amount of confidence in their stride. Look at that, he just says, oh, vehicle for what, I'll just squeeze past you and ignore you and not even look up at you. <laughs> now I need to try, he's gone into Biffle's hook again though, but hopefully he's going to give us a show. I need to just actually, I don't think I'm going to make this turn. Oh, well, can we cut it? Can we just use the route that the lion used? Yes. Why not? I'm going to, because I can't make that turn. I feel like I'm going to tip the car over. So we'll just do this. But this way, he's going back to straight towards Tamboiti Dam again. <laughs> Everyone's going in and out and back and forth and round. I don't mind. And for more, as long as you stay in a spot where I can see you, that's fine with me. It was very funny as arriving here and everybody just parting away. But there he goes, up on the top of the dam. We'll stay with him because this could be the last of the view now. 
He looks a little bit more on the determined side this time. He's going straight back exactly where he was. He obviously second guessed himself there and thought, no, let me go back and just have one last look. I didn't see their tracks crossing over. We should see him pop out again. There's another animal pathway. Maybe he'll come down. We'll get one last view of him. No. And off he goes. Down onto the other side. Aww. Okay, well, let's just carry on with the road just a little bit. Maybe he comes back again. But unfortunately, he's gone into an area where we cannot follow him anymore. But he's looking good. The Birmingham boys, I, I keep saying this, every single time I see them, they look absolutely lovely. Look so fantastic. They look so fit and strong. They really are reaching their prime. But unfortunately, I think that's the end now of the, the Mfumo sighting. He's disappeared out of view. I see he's just walking straight east. Maybe they come back a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to send you across to James, who's having a look at the river.